Imagine a system that watches everything from the skies, streets, and screens, making decisions faster than any human. What if it already exists and it's called Skynet? No, not science fiction. We're diving into the chilling reality behind the real world Skynet, not the Hollywood version, but China's actual AI powered surveillance network that's rewriting the rules of privacy and control. You'll learn how it works, what it sees, and why it might be coming for all of us next. It started with a name straight out of science fiction, Skynet. Except this wasn't a movie, it was real. And it was watching. In China, sometime around 2005, the government quietly began building one of the most ambitious surveillance systems the world had ever seen. The project was codenamed Tianwang, which translates to Skynet, a poetic nod to a digital spiderweb stretching over cities, villages, highways, and even your phone screen. At first, it looked like a simple security measure, cameras on poles, traffic lights, and subways. But over time, those lenses multiplied, and more importantly, they got smarter. Today, China's Skynet connects hundreds of millions of AI-powered cameras across the nation. These aren't ordinary CCTV feeds. They're backed by facial recognition, gait analysis, and deep learning algorithms that can pick you out of a crowd in seconds, even if you're wearing a mask. And the eerie part? You won't even know you've been spotted. This isn't just surveillance. It's state-run omnipresence, invisible, constant, and impossibly fast. If Skynet is the brain, then China's cities are its nervous system, buzzing, blinking, recording. By 2023, over 600 million CCTV cameras had been installed across the country. That's nearly one camera for every two citizens. But here's the catch. They don't just record, they recognize and learn. Let's say you walk through a busy street in Shanghai. A camera picks up your face even if it's partially covered by sunglasses or a mask. Within seconds, the AI matches it to your ID, cross-referencing a vast database of citizen records. You're tagged, logged, tracked. Now let's say you're smart, you cover your face, wear a hoodie, and keep your head down. Still useless, because Skynet doesn't just watch your face, it watches your feet. Using something called gate recognition, the system analyzes the way you walk, your posture, stride length, and arm swing. Like a fingerprint, it's unique. You could swap clothes, change shoes, or even limp. The AI will still find you. And this tracking doesn't stop at sidewalks. Your metro card, your smartphone GPS, your face at the ATM, it's all integrated. If you move from one end of the city to the other, Skynet can follow you in real time, hopping from one data point to the next like stepping stones. No alarms, no warnings, just total invisible surveillance. It's not surveillance with eyes. It's surveillance with memory and an almost terrifying ability to never forget. But just how powerful is this system in action? Let's rewind to 2018. A huge pop concert is underway in Nanchang. 60,000 people packed shoulder to shoulder, cheering, moving, phones flashing everywhere. Among them, a man wanted for an economic crime, hiding in plain sight. He thought the crowd would protect him. It didn't. Before the second song even ended, Skynet had already picked him out, matched his face, and alerted police. Officers quietly walked in, tapped him on the shoulder, and walked him out. No fuss, no chance to run. Then came the pandemic. While the world scrambled to build apps and contact tracing tools, China already had the perfect infrastructure. Skynet's thermal imaging cameras scanned crowds for fevers, while AI algorithms tracked people not wearing masks, issuing fines in real time. And beneath it all, a darker layer, predictive policing. In regions like Xinjiang, the system has been accused of flagging individuals as risky based on behavior patterns, many of them Uyghur Muslims. Some are arrested without cause, not by a human officer's judgment, but by a computer's prediction. It's not just watching anymore, it's deciding and sometimes you don't even know you've been judged. At first glance, it sounds like a futuristic crime-fighting miracle, but once you look closer, the cracks begin to show. Because here's the part no one talks about. You can't opt out. In China, there's no I don't consent button. The cameras don't ask before scanning your face. The algorithm doesn't pause to check your privacy settings. 
Whether you're guilty or innocent, law-abiding or rebellious, you're being watched and there's no off switch. Worse, in some regions, Skynet is directly linked to China's social credit system, a program that scores citizens based on behavior. Miss a loan payment? Jaywalk? Post something critical online? The system notices and punishes. Travel bans, job restrictions, school rejections, all without a single courtroom hearing. And then there's the issue of bias. Reports show the system disproportionately targets ethnic minorities, especially Uyghur Muslims. These groups are flagged more often, tracked more aggressively, and detained based on AI-generated risk scores. No appeals, no oversight, just a black box of code deciding your fate. Skynet doesn't just take your data, it rewrites the rules of justice, quietly, invisibly, and with chilling precision. But here's the most unsettling part. This is just the beginning. Skynet isn't slowing down, it's evolving. In some Chinese schools, students wear AI-powered headbands that monitor their brainwaves, detecting concentration levels in real time. Teachers receive live data on which students are focused and which are drifting. In offices, similar tech is used to measure worker fatigue, stress, and even emotional states. Meanwhile, emotion recognition software is being tested on surveillance cameras designed to flag people who look angry, nervous, or unusual. Imagine walking through an airport, your face calm on the outside, but one flicker of emotion and the AI takes notice. And Skynet isn't staying in China. It's being exported globally to places like Zimbabwe, Ecuador, and Serbia. Countries with shaky democracies and rising authoritarianism. For them, this isn't just surveillance tech. It's power in a box. Experts call it the dawn of a digital dictatorship, where freedom is filtered through algorithms and obedience is the only safe default. The question now isn't if this tech spreads. It's who gets to control it and who gets controlled. Skynet isn't sci-fi anymore. It's surveillance at scale, powered by artificial intelligence. Whether it protects society or controls, it depends on who's watching the watchers. If this gave you chills, smash that like button, subscribe, and check out our video on AI and warfare because this rabbit hole goes even deeper. And that's all about it. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. And if you like more updates, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so you don't miss any videos and get notifications on time. Don't hesitate to give suggestions for our videos. See you in the next one.